everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa and today I have another five breakfast recipe ideas that are all gluten free. I've been noticing that you guys have actually liked my other one, my first video, which I will link either above or down below. If you guys are new to my channel, I make a whole bunch of gluten free recipes that I will, recipes? Videos with recipes in it that I will link down below for you guys to go ahead and check out. But yeah, so pretty much I noticed that you guys have been liking that video, so I decided to do a part two to that video. But I have been having the hardest time trying to find recipes, um, and that's the struggle of being gluten-free. But I have been able to find them, so we are adding them to this video right now. Um, but yeah, if you guys would like to see five more gluten-free breakfast ideas, recipes, then go ahead and keep on watching. So first has to be my healthy blueberry muffins. Like I love this recipe and it's so versatile. They're so good and it's super easy to make. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab two cups of oats and we're gonna grind that up. But instead of wasting a whole bunch of different, you know, mixing bowls and stuff, we're just gonna add salt. Um, it's baking powder and baking soda actually. I do a tablespoon, a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda and then a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And then I just grind it all up together. That way, like I said, I'm not just using a whole bunch of bowls and stuff and it already needs to be mixed up anyways. If you don't have a Nutribullet or a Ninja, um, I'm pretty sure that you could just buy oat flour or you could probably use just a normal blender to blend up oats. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be completely smooth. Mine's never smooth. I like a little bit of texture to mine, but that's pretty much it for the dry ingredients. Then in a separate bowl, we're gonna whisk together two eggs, and then we're also going to add a whole bunch of stuff that I'm just gonna go through. There's gonna be like a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There's gonna be Whew, I have a whole lot. A fourth a cup of maple syrup, a fourth a cup of honey. We have a half of a half of a cup of canola oil. I'm sorry, coconut oil that we melt down. Coconut oil. And then I add about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Um, we do a half a cup of milk. I'm sorry, I'm reading a paper right now in front of me and <laughs> I got a little lost on what all the ingredients I had. And then we're gonna whisk all that together. And then we're going to slowly combine the uh, dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Now, y it really doesn't matter about over, over mixing this. It's a healthy recipe. It's honestly made to be super, super quick. I think I made all of this in like less than five minutes. So don't really get nervous about over mixing, I guess, but this is honestly what it looks like. And then I just add blueberries to it. We do want a thicker texture though, not the watery. So kind of like this texture right here. And then we add blueberries to it. Like I said, you can add whatever you want. You can add, um, let's see, let's do strawberries or bananas or chocolate chips. You can literally add whatever. It's kind of like a super just plain like recipe. And then you just add whatever you want. If you have just like random stuff, I don't, anything. You can literally add anything. And then you can spice it up if you want like nutmeg or cinnamon, super versatile. And then I got these the other day. Aren't they cute? I got them at Ross. <laughs> it's very, it's very Halloween festive. But then we just add it to the cupcake liners and we throw it in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then after that, you pull them out, you let them cool and they are freaking amazing. Like I said, super versatile. You guys can switch anything that you want in it. If you don't like coconut oil, you can switch the oil but just look at them. Oh my God, they're so freaking good. Now this is my take on breakfast pizza. Yes, we all remember breakfast pizza from like high school and junior high. I think even elementary school had it back then but this is exactly my take on it. And my husband loves this meal. Now, Scar, actually I think I've been saying it wrong the whole time. I think it's Char, cause I think it's German. <laughs> I've been saying it wrong this entire time. 
They also make pizza crust. If you guys know and have been watching me for a while, you know that I am obsessed with their bread. I love the texture of it. I think it's perfect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one, I mean, it's up to you if you wanna use, you know, more, if you have multiple people to feed or you wanna make this, you know, for days in advance. And we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the oven for a little bit to kind of just crisp up because if not, the eggs will overcook while the bread is still getting hard. So we'll throw it in for about five, 10 minutes or so on 350, just while we're making everything else. And at this point, I already have turkey bacon and chicken sausage that I had already cooked up and then, you know, crum crumpled together. <laughs> and I just made them into pretty much bite-sized pizzas. We're gonna use this exactly the same way we would use toppings for a normal pizza. So then we use six eggs on this because it's kind of a lot of bread and I'm feeding two people. Um, and then I added some, either this is Monterey Jack or this is Pepper Jack cheese. And we're going to cook this on low and we're going to babysit. Oh, also in your eggs when you whisk it together, please remember, remember, wow, I can't even talk. <laughs> please remember to add milk because we want them to get fluffy. I'm sorry that I'm just completely botching this whole thing. I cannot talk today. But yes, add a little bit of milk so that it gets fluffy. And we want this texture right here. Do not overcook them and do not cook them into crumbles. It's not that they're gonna be, you know, raw. We still are throwing them in the oven. So we don't wanna overcook them. We don't want to burn them. So we're gonna make it this type of texture right here. Kind of like a sauce, but a little bit thicker because this is going to be our base. If we do scrambled eggs, they're just gonna fall right off. So, I mean, you honestly put like toast and scrambled eggs on each other. But we want it to be this texture right here. And I use cheese in my eggs because then it makes more of a binding. It makes it more sticky instead of just, you know, fluffy scrambled eggs. And then we use our toppings and then I top it with a little bit more cheese. That way it just makes everything kind of stick onto the pizza. But you can add whatever toppings you want. You can add veggies, you can add whatever you want um, at this point. I don't think I had much left over. Like I don't think I had any veggies and stuff at home, but you can add, you know, whatever, like anything that you like for breakfast, go for it. If you want like tomatoes and bell peppers and mushrooms, oh my God, that would be so great. But my husband loves this meal. He adds a little bit of Tabasco onto it and it is so freaking good. Yes, you're going to top it again and throw it back in the oven. It shouldn't overcook the, the pizza, but oh my God. Now, before you click off, I promise you, I know you guys don't like oatmeal, but if you have it my way, you will. You have to eat it like a hot cereal, more milk than oats. We're gonna add about a cup and a quarter, two cups and a quarter, I'm sorry, of milk. And then we're going to add a cup of oats. And while those are cooking up and heating up, we're gonna add a half of a mashed ripe banana. We're gonna do some vanilla extract. We're gonna do some maple syrup, some cinnamon, and that just goes by to taste. So that's up to you, that's to your discretion. Uh, I mean, I really don't have a measurement for it, but that's pretty much it. Oh, and I'm sorry for these clips, by the way. I'm gonna get them focused here in a second. I thought that I had it on the right setting and I didn't. But we're gonna heat that up. We're gonna add some shredded coconut and then we are going to add some dark chocolate. Yes, you can add whatever chocolate you'd like, but we're trying to be a little bit more on the healthier side while still getting our sweet tooth. And this brand right here is gluten-free. I have it on the back. I'm gonna show you guys like right now. It is gluten-free. It is so good. And you honestly can't even taste the difference between milk chocolate and dark chocolate, but that also might be me because I kind of love dark chocolate, but okay. And then we're going to add, honestly, like I think I added maybe like a square worth of it, maybe a little bit more, and you don't need much. And you will start to slowly see it turn all milky and chocolatey and amazing. And it was kind of like chocolate milk, I'm not gonna lie, it was freaking amazing. And then we just stir, stir, stir until we melt the chocolate all the way through. Then we pour it into a bowl. This is what I mean. It looks like porridge, doesn't it? I swear, I swear, try it this way. It's so good. I, this is the only way I can eat oatmeal because I can't have that whole hardness. That, uh. And then I'm gonna top it with a little bit more of cocoa, shredded coconut, a little bit more chocolate. Usually right here I do cacao nibs, but I was out today. So we're just gonna add a little bit more chocolate. That's fine. More chocolate never hurt anybody. 
and then we're gonna add some bananas and that right there is my chunky monkey breakfast and oh my god it is so good and kind of feels like your guilty pleasure but it's actually not that bad so definitely give this a try and I promise you you will like the oatmeal if you have it like hot cereal Now I've made egg cups before in my other breakfast video, but this one we're gonna do scrambled. And this is the reason why I didn't have any more bell peppers and stuff. But pretty much what we're gonna do is we're going to do, I think I did about two or three eggs. I'm gonna scramble them, put some cheese in there, just like again, a binding type of thing. And then you can add whatever toppings you like. Right here I added bell pepper, I added tomato, I added sausage, the same chicken sausage, and the same turkey bacon. But you can add whatever you like. I don't think I had mushrooms at this time, but I would definitely add mushrooms. But it's completely up to you. And then you could top it with a little bit more cheese or whatever you'd like. I didn't add milk to this one, but you can if you'd like to, if you want them to be a little bit more fluffy. Just be careful not to overflow them because I definitely did at some point. You'll start to see probably one of them. That one right there <laughs> starts to overflow. But then you pop it in the oven for about 354. I don't remember the time. I want to say it was about like 20 minutes, maybe less than that. I will link it down below. I will have everything down below. But then you pop these out. I did a little bit of Cholula and oh my God, so freaking good. Now this one is chia pudding chia seed pudding it's the same thing honestly it's no different from any other one you've seen I just did two tablespoons of chia seeds and then I did some maple syrup and some oat milk I didn't do normal milk I did oat milk and then I added some cinnamon and then I just kind of whisked it up um, I wanted to make sure that it was thick enough so then we're gonna leave it in overnight but I do stir it every so often because I like it to be thick and chunky and stuff and then I added a nectarine on the top and it's just because I had them they're going bad and they're about to be out of season and they are my favorite fruit and they're gonna be gone soon so I was like oh well let's just try this and it's really really good honestly I'm gonna have to play around with these a little bit more but I always wanted to try it and I did and I like it and that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you liked it please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already but if not that's fine. You're welcome back anytime. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.